Good morning, Refine users. Marta Locklear here. I wanted to come on and do a quick edit for you guys to show you how to use blush tone. I was sent in this gorgeous image by um, the McCoons. Uh, Gloria McCoons specifically sent this in for a test edit. And uh, she wanted to see how well Refine worked with her film scans. Um, her film is on the left, digital on the right. It uh, looks like she's a Nikon shooter. And uh, this was shot with a 50 millimeter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this real quick. You can see the two side by side are very different, um, definite similar shot. And what I'm going to do is, because um, her edits are very, very clean, I'm going to go ahead and run Pure. Pure is a cleaner preset than Patina. So if you have a very clean edit, Pure is the one for you. And then I'm going to go ahead and add blush tone to it because I can see there is a slight pink haze to this, which is gorgeous. And then I'm going to run Highlight Recover. Obviously, this doesn't look like this image to the um, left, so we're going to increase exposure a little bit. And because I can see that their shadows are lifted, um, they don't have very heavy contrast on their film scans, I'm going to go ahead and back off the contrast quite a bit and tweak from there as needed. Uh, looking at the trees in the background, I can still see that a little bit of uh, shadow color can be lifted and also here in her hair. So I'm just going to real quick lift the shadows just a touch. And that's almost identical right there. Uh, you could go in, I could probably add just a touch of warmth. And you can see the flowers are nearly identical. The sand is identical. Grays in the bushes and greens in the trees, identical. Skin, identical. Um, that's how quick it was. I'm going to undo this and show you again. Uh, so all I did was, it's fussing at me, pure blush tone, highlight recover, always use that almost every time, a slight contrast or exposure, back off the contrast just a bit, shadows, and exposure is needed, and I did add a pop of warmth in there. Done. That's how quick it is. So let me go ahead and do another one for you guys because we all love before and afters. They're fun to watch. And um, the last one, this one here, oh, no sorry, this one, you can see it was uh, slightly underexposed, not by much, but it was. And I want to show you how um, when you expose it almost exactly a perfect exposure, how Less, even less tweaking you need to do. Sorry, I can't talk this morning. I ran the wrong preset. So pure, blush tone, highlight recover, and back off contrast. And this image looks like it's a tiny bit warmer. So I'm going to, again, add just a touch of warmth in. And tweak as needed. And it's the shadows. There you go. Um, and you can see here in the sky that they have a little more blue in their sky. Um, you can hand tweak that if it bothers you. That would be in your HSL. You can just pull the blues back a little bit. But if you have a lot of blue in your image, you're definitely going to have um, lose that. So you would pull back on the saturation if you wanted to, just to kind of knock that slight edge of uh, blue out of the sky. I'm going to mess with that a little bit. And let's just go ahead and do one more because they're fun. I uh, already added that one, so reset. Pure blush tone, highlight, recover, exposure, and shadows. And just to show you, uh, this image is actually more in the magenta side than the other two images, so you can just add in a slight bit of tint and it looks like it can even be cooled off a little bit. I like to type things in because hand tweaking. Um, it's hard to get exact. And if you want to adjust exposure and stuff, or sorry, contrast, you can. And same thing with the other one. And you can definitely see how much more purple is in this one than the last two files. So we can even add more. Like okay. that. Let's cool it off a little. And really that's it. So all you're doing is running the preset, adjusting your exposure and contrast, shadows if your film scans are lifted, as far as shadows are lifted. 
And that's it. There's really, it's super easy. And this is nearly a perfect match on her foam scans. And you guys need to start using blush tone because it looks amazing. Thank you. Bye.